I'm actually on day two of building the boxes, so I got this one's pretty much ready. This Voltec, that's gonna be Half-Life 3, and then this will be the Star Wars. I'm not sure about this. I might repaint it yesterday, or not yesterday, tomorrow, because I kind of want to do the Jedi logo on one side, but I'm not sure if, if making it blue will match, so I'm kind of in the, uh, whatever debacle it's called. And then this guy is gonna be the little Hulk box, little baby box, and I use like my uh, fist or whatever to make the little knuckle. I don't know why I'm real happy about or real excited about this cutout, but I don't know. So we're gonna have a little Hulk decoration on both sides. Uh, I'll be doing all these designs tomorrow. But for now, let's just see how to build the slant box first before we skip ahead and do all this. This will be the third part of, and final part of my box building bonanza. So let's get to it. Let's look at this guy. So for a 20 inch box, I did the dimensions already. So base is 22, top is 17 and a half. Height is 18 and a half for me because I'm gonna put a rubber mat here which will create a thickness. Or 19 and a quarter which is the side on this box. And then you got for the other side, because they do kind of come in and line up here. So we gotta lose, it's three quarter inch plywood so we're losing an inch and a half so you got 20 and a half and 16, but I'll write all the measurements down later, so. Two by eight, really high-end piece of plywood. It's a bit of a heresy to sacrifice it for a box, but these are, you know, desperate times and all, so. First thing we're gonna do before we even start cutting it is I'm gonna cut the little edge off here in an angle. The slanted box is quite a bit trickier to build, so first thing we'll do is go ahead. So now we'll do 18 and a half inches, and we're gonna cut four sides of that. All right, so I got all my sides cut. Now we're gonna go figure out the sides. So we know the base is gonna be, so we're gonna be 22. Okay. And the top will be 17 and a half, we're gonna make it mark at 22. All right, so the offset is two and a quarter. Now we connect the dots. And so one side is 17 and a half by 22. The other one will be shorter. So we're gonna do two different ones. The offset is two and a quarter inches though, so. Still, I'll still use my jigsaw for this just because I still have to make the top but I want to screw all this together before the top is built. So we're going to go ahead and jigsaw this all out. The other side is going to be 20 and a half and the offset is still two and a quarter on one side. And then 20 and a half minus two inches, so here minus a quarter inch, 18 and a quarter. straight to me but yeah again you don't have to cut these with a jigsaw you can cut with this mine just problem with mine is it sticks pretty bad right here and it's a pain in the butt so for me it's faster to just have instead of switching back and forth to straight cut and ver angle cut I just rather use two tools side by side and if you have a table saw or something obviously it's a whole different situation but I don't got that I'm gonna roughly put it together and most people would say you have to pre-drill the holes first and so forth, but I've done it the other way and ain't nobody got time for that. So we're gonna go ahead and just do it straight up. And these are fine screws, so I think they'll be fine. I'm not gonna worry about the glue either, I'm just gonna use more screws. And the other boxes that I've built in the past were much sturdier than any of the other ones I've used, so I'm just gonna go with what I know. It might not be theoretically perfect, but it works darn well in real life. I'm like in a fort now. Oh, and I sanded it down already too. So. All this kind of stuff, the, whatchamacallit, this plywood just has it, so it's a pain in the butt. It has that nice finish, I don't know what it's called scientifically. 
but it's CrossFit. The, the boxes are going to get messed up anyways, so. And you get the idea, I'll do the last side. And so I haven't cut the top part yet because I want to take a measurement first to see where we at right here. So we're still at 17 and a half, but now it will be 17 and a half at the bottom and slightly tilted in because we're going to make it nice. Plus I want to confirm as well because sometimes I do make mistakes. So I just want to make sure I don't do any janky business. Now, so I did the holes in this already, same way as the other one. I used the remote control. I did it this, and I'm putting in there a couple of reinforcement. The question is like, do I actually ran the tape measure and made sure that it was even from both sides and so forth, but why do I like it that way? I know I can be OCD and make it all really perfect, but it's just not that much fun. And I don't really like building the furniture all that much, to be honest with you. So in fall, the art I do, like, let's see where it's at. Like this kind of stuff, and you know, all that's done by hand, and that, where's that other thing? And that, so I just generally, like certain things, or like those guys, I just don't really care. But yeah, some things I like to do, I like to do real scientific and whatnot, and some other stuff just, I don't know, the Russian and me craves a certain chaos. And so I just kind of eyeball it. And boom. And boom goes the dynamite. It just works. So I don't know if it's a strategy good for everybody. You can measure exactly the right amount, but close enough. I mean, this is like five and a half, five and a half. This one's about six inches. So I'm off only by what half inch, quarter inch. And it'll all be painted anyway, so it's close enough. Let's go straight into the human experiment part. I'll be like that guy that tested ulcers by injecting himself with bacteria or swallowing it or whatever. Pretty sure I'm not getting Nobel Prize for building boxes though, but hey. Uh, this sander looks like a face, so I might start talking to him. Probably gonna call him Gary. Or oh, what, what should we call him? Maybe we could call him... We'll call him Boris. There we go. It'll be Boris the sand... Oh, Sergei the sander. There we go. So we're gonna be like, hello. You know, when we're all isolated and lonely, like on Castaway. But anyways, I got one more box, pretty much ready to go. That's the one I started yesterday and made the mistake, so I had to do one more side. And I got to cut the rubber mat slightly for here, because I didn't account for the slant. Rubber mat for here and so forth, and then we'll paint it all. All the boxes are built. I built four of them. But what I want to do is I'm thinking of what, how we can decorate them. So one of the 20s I'm keeping for myself. I'm going to paint it blue, make it a vault tech to match the vault boy. This is kind of rough, the idea, so if we go... Now we can do a positive space thing too. This is just a kind of a scraps idea. But something like this, so we got to figure out how we want to decorate these boxes. Final, I, this is just some sketches I'm doing. Maybe do one box as a superhero box or something. That might be pretty sick. quite right. I might show you the backside later, but we're gonna try this and just see kind of how this works as an idea. I would brush it all first and so forth, but for now let's try this on. Over mat on top of this, I cut it out already. I forgot to video it, but all I use is just a utility knife and the T-square, it's in the corner there, the one that I made the boxes with, and I just measure it and go sh 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 score it. Uh, I might show a video later, but it's not that interesting, it's not that... Pretty happy with the day's progress, so let's get out of the sun before I burn too bad. But thanks for watching, great success. Come on, get up here. Alright, there you go, come on over here. Suck, over here. No? Alright. Alright, stay right there. Good boy.